As many are desperately searching for the chance to get vaccinated, a substantial number of African Americans remain reluctant to roll up their sleeves. Some of those feelings are rooted in a horrific medical experiment that sowed deep seeds of mistrust. Tonight, the granddaughter of one of those abused so many years ago is speaking out to help others overcome their doubt. It's always been a part of the family history. We didn't talk about it much. Nutritionist Sharon Hawks says it's been hard to hear people citing the Tuskegee experiment as one reason they're reluctant to get a COVID vaccine. It has brought up bad emotions. Hawks's grandfather, Willie Harris, was a part of that experiment until his death in 1960. From 1932 until 1972, the Federal Public Health Service used 623 impoverished sharecroppers in rural Alabama to study the natural course of syphilis. The men were promised treatment but were only given placebos. That deceit leading to a mistrust of medicine, which for some continues to this day. The fact that they experimented on him for so many years without him even knowing what they were doing. But Hawks doesn't want that painful past to impact her community's future. She's helping run a COVID vaccination clinic at her Maryland church. I felt it was a, it was a moral obligation to let people know and to get them comfortable with it. With people lined up and eager to be vaccinated, she hopes resistance is fading. This is not an experiment of someone trying to kill us off. Everyone is going after the same vaccine. She says her grandfather was denied treatment, which could have extended his life. She hopes people don't deny themselves a vaccine, which could save theirs. Here in Michigan, white residents are twice as likely to have received a COVID vaccine as blacks, although the state admits information about race is missing for more than 40% of our state's vaccine recipients.